This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Okay, so Lord Jamar, of course, he's going to react to him. And I'm now he tried to put it off on Vlad. Like, yo, Vlad's asking me these questions. I'm not asking him. No, no, no. You you rush down to Vlad TV and you you answered this because this is what the hottest thing going for you the past couple years. It's fine. Okay, so Lord Jamar reacts to uh, Eminem saying he's a guest in hip hop. Well, uh, is is and Eminem agreed that he was never said he wasn't a guest. Uh, Lord Jamar says I never had a problem with Eminem. It was just that I had to let you know uh, the white power know uh, that. You know, that's not going to be tolerated. People decide who's the best, not just who sells the most and who comes in and is white and this. And I was like, this is like <laughs> so dumb. Why is it? You know, why is he even reacting to that? It's like that. I can't believe that's even a topic. Like people know that Eminem, he's good at putting words together and everything, but it's a certain crowd of people that listen to his music. Now, so I don't bump Eminem's music. I respect his craft. Lord Jamar said he's respected his craft before, but he's salty about Eminem. It's just, you could tell. And you could tell me he's not, but hey, only people that argue in that is people that were, you know, I'm not even gonna go there. But you know, it's just, it's just totally retarded that this is even a topic. Him going back and forth with Lord Jamar, Lord Jamar going back and forth with him. Nah. Anyways, uh, then we got so the conversation has been started, which has been a conversation for 15 years of people stressing, look at your contracts, look at this, look at that. There was no excuse. And people, people don't understand. People were desperate in the beginning. They have no money to work with. They have nothing to invest in. They don't always read the whole contract. They feel lucky to have the deal. They signed the contract. Meg Thee Stallion wants to renegotiate a contract she signed five years ago because she didn't read the contract close enough. Plus, contracts are confusing to her credit. People are now are saying, well, you got to read your contracts. You got to do this. You really got to have a lawyer look at it. That costs money. Sometimes you don't even have the money to get the lawyer to look at the contract. I'm going to tell you something. If, you go, if the label wants to sign you and they won't give you the money to have another lawyer look at it, something's up with the contract. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. They won't give you a couple hundred bucks to get your own lawyer to represent you. Something's up. Sometimes you got to take that L to get to where she's at, where she has power now. She has money now. She can fight this now. She had a win in court where there, you know, she had a restraining order put on the label where she can release music on Friday. Um, and then now she's going to have a legal battle with uh, 1501 Records and Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford, I would say, immaturely posted him and Jay Prince to send a message uh, the other day. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, then we got uh, Drake seemingly responding to uh, a lot of backlash that uh, he's been getting from his recent songs. He called his baby mom um, almost like a fluke. And then he said he used an Eminem line in uh, one... He used an Eminem line in one song. Uh and people were trying to get backlash for that. He just said, hey, they make it so hard to be friendly. You know, it's part of the envy. So he's basically kind of calling everyone envious that is reacting like that. Then we got Sway Lee. Who knew Sway Lee was feeding the streets? He said, I don't care how, uh, how top of the charts I get or anything. I will never turn my back on hip hop culture. I always feed the streets. Bro, you've been pop since day one, bro. <laughs> you're not feeding the streets. You're feeding the, the pop fans. You're very talented at what you do. But come on. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you stay happy today. Keep working. You dictate your success. You dictate your happiness. Success is defined by you and not Instagram and everybody else. So make sure you're only judging yourself on yourself and your accomplishments versus the world's accomplishments. I appreciate you guys. Short Tower JT News. Peace.